Hey guys, I know typically on this channel, I like to do a lot of things with my kids, but every now and then I get to do something that's a little bit more, maybe a little bit out of their range of ability. And sometimes I actually just go because I need to learn how to do it with someone else so that I can safely take my kids. And that's what we're doing today. This is one of my bucket list trips. Somebody invited me late last night. And so this is just get in the car and go kind of thing. So what we're doing today is we're gonna take you on the opening Yellowstone ride. So basically what happens is every spring, about late March, early April, they take and they plow the roads in Yellowstone and they do so with bulldozers and big, huge equipment. And you're gonna see that there's just tons and tons of snow piled up on the side of the road. And they open the roads for a week to just bicycles. And so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna park at West Yellowstone, ride in. I think we're gonna go as far as Gibbons Falls. Hopefully we can make it that far and go back. The problem with today's ride is this morning it was 15 degrees in West Yellowstone. It's pretty cold for uh, a first ride. So today I'm opting for a backpack. I just picked this up, used the other day. This is a little Dekine backpack. It's nice because it's got all these extra straps. You can like strap things to the outside of this all day long. I love that. So I can throw my jackets on there. Um, any kind of layers that I need to take off go nicely. I'm packing snow gloves just because the wind chill when it's 20 to 30 degrees scares me. And I will admit I'm a wuss. I've got neoprene toe socks and then I've got these bike shoes with these neoprene kind of covers. The clip goes here. So that's the bottom, right? And then it just flips onto the top. So it covers like that. Got my first aid kit, my bike pump. One of Christine's subscribers sent this, and I don't remember who it is, and I apologize, but it's a nice little under helmet uh, beanie, I should say. I'm gonna take my bladder. Here's my food situation. I've got homemade, homemade granola bars, homemade power bar, uh, a built bar, a sandwich, a bag of chips, and some cheese. And I think I'm even gonna throw an apple in there. And that probably will be enough. We're gonna end up going, I think about 40 to 50 miles. And we're not going super hard or super fast, so that should get me there. I'm taking my mountain bike helmet because it's got my GoPro mount on it because I'm going to try to get this on video today. And then I've got my insulated water bottle with some UCAN Energy Endurance Mix in there. That's pretty much what we're going to go with. Okay, we're about ready to go. Just a few little changes. I decided to put on these full shoe covers. I gave these to Christine a few years ago, and I tried to see if they would fit, and they did, so it's worth a shot. I got my windbreaker here. I threw an extra long sleeve shirt in there. I got the felt bike here. I've got my helmet, my bike shorts, and my uh, base layer shorts or pants in there. I'm wearing some hiking pants instead today because I feel like these block the wind. These are my best wind blocking pants that I've got. So hopefully between those two layers, I'm warm enough. Just full disclosure, I'm from Arizona originally. I don't like this cold. <laughs> So when I see biking at 20, 30 degrees, I get pretty scared and I usually end up overdressing, but I would way rather overdress and take off layers than be cold and miserable. So uh, my ride's about to be here. I can't wait. I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. All right, here's the get up. <laughs> I'm about as warm as I think I can possibly be for today. Rob's like joining me. Like a grizzly cyclist. Heck yeah. Time. Any last thoughts, Rob? Are we going to freeze uh, to death? Because I did not bring my telephoto lens, I think we're going to see some great bald eagles and uh, grizzlies in the distance. You think the grizzlies have woken up yet? That's the question. They always keep the, the segment from Madison Juncture to Old Faithful closed because they have woken up and they're hungry. Really? Yeah. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to outrun the grizzly, just your partner. We, you know, I've never seen a grizzly uh, doing it, but bison, we will see. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Always makes you a little nervous on skinny tires. I haven't seen any buffalo yet. I've had years where I've seen none. Remember how many we saw at Madison two years ago when we came up here for work? Yeah. I love that trip, but I'm so mad that I can't find our photo, my photos of it.
he's coming back for a picture. I realize you're on, on the right bike. Oh, <laughs> seriously, I'm like, woo, I like that bike. <laughs> so those first couple of years, we just went past them. And then that year we saw a bison head, but the pickup truck, we got more cautious. Because <laughs> it was unprovoked, right? The pickup was just strength in numbers. Oh, oh there, no. there you go. Oh, look, there's the calf. Wow. They're looking a little too active for my liking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like less, a little and less they movement. And going go. back and forth. Yeah, they can't make up their mind. Yeah. I don't want to be there when they vacillate. Actually, they're right there yeah, now. Actually, they're coming this way. Yeah, exactly. You got your GoPro on in case we get some action? You know I do. <laughs> oh, you One's rolling on its back it over like there. The car looks similar. I think we might be able to. Let's see we go. Take the first hit. Says the guy on the far left. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. County bison. Yeah. yeah. So our first year we passed lots of bison on the road. like 80 something 90 something percent of the time they're just chill but you don't want to be around for that 10 percent yeah uh, exactly you can really have to kind of figure out what their demeanor is when they were going back and forth like that i was not willing to go but as soon as they kind of calmed down and were just meandering over there I felt a little more confident. That could just be my overconfidence. Another big guy up there? Yeah. Have you, you, you guys haven't done that, ride the gardener then? Well, one of our friends who's gonna do it tomorrow is 70 something. Oh my goodness. I know. I've She's done, amazing. I've done it to Norris Geyser. That's as far as I've gone. Okay, yeah. You know, she rocks it. She's... That's awesome. That's like, those are life goals right there. Yep. Okay, just as I was about to say, ready to go slowly, they come out to the road a little. And on to the road. Obviously, they have no time schedule today. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the cool things about the park, is the bison are in charge. Yeah. You know, they're just going to slow you down. If I get trampled, just make sure you get the GoPro. <laughs> All the monetary proceeds will go to your family. <laughs> How many miles in are we? 11? Yeah, at least 11. I told him I'd take the hit for everybody. I said, I'm single. Nobody will miss me. <laughs> Here he comes, let him go. <laughs> oh look, look at this. Oh my gosh. My toes are still cold. My head's hot. There we go, Gibbons Falls, quarter mile. Yeah. 
Ja. It feels warmer already. Does it? Oh yeah. You know, the nice thing I've been dreaming about this for a few miles. Any relief from the wind with the turn? There is right here. Either that or we're just going a lot slower. <laughs> <laughs> We saw lots of buffalo. We did. Lots of ice and no bear. No we, bears. Like how far? Uh, oh, 10 miles. Oh. 10 miles in. And then we saw coyote. <laughs> and I think that's about it for today. Where are you guys from? Nice. Whittier, California. Which, where in California? Whittier. Cool. You've come a long way. Yeah. We did and it's closed. Let's find out it's closed. You didn't know really? No. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Any bikes because they're all you know so, rented. So we're gonna see how how much we could. We're gonna step in the dark park at least. Do it. Go <laughs> hike right? in the park. Go hike for a little bit. And we're gonna see how far in we could go. Enjoy. Well, have a good Thank hike. You. Bye bye. Have a good. You too, guys. I know you could ride the Bozeman, but I'd rather not. <laughs>